hello everyone and welcome you all for this video tutorial session on the topic data splitting into training and testing data set for supervised machine learning myself mr vipul kondekar from walchand institute of technology sulapur so these are the learning outcomes at the end of the session student will be able to implement the split of the data set into the two parts one is called as training data set another will be testing data set and through this split student will be able to analyze the performance of one supervised learning algorithm called as regression algorithm now what do you mean what is the exactly difference between the training data set and testing data set when you are developing a machine learning model you get a data based on the objective you choose the data you have you do pre processing of the data then the total data set when i am using supervised learning i will divide into two parts some part of the data we will use for the training and remaining part of the data will be used for the testing purpose so of the original data training data set will be again a subset of the original data and this training data set will be used for developing the machine learning model once the model is developed i want to evaluate the performance of the model so i will use the testing data and the test data will give you the performance measures may be like accuracy how much accuracy of the model you are getting now when you are saying that data need to be divided into two parts one is called as training data set another is called as testing data set how exactly i can divide the data what will be the proportion of the data going into the training and testing part so there are thumb, some thumb rules where it says that make sure that the training data is sufficiently larger than that of the test data set so usually 70% 30% is the proportion chosen so if you have 100 instances of the data so the approach may be 70% means 700 instances you will use for the training purpose and remaining 300 will be used for the testing purpose so we'll try to understand the implementation of this particular split uh, we will be taking the help of a google collab as a platform and the code is been referred from the github repository and wherever required the data sets are taken from the kaggle we will use this google collab platform and then i'm just importing one collab file which is meant for split of the data into the two parts training and testing data set so let me choose that file now we will be using a data set of cars so in the data set so it's the data set of bmw cars where you have the information about how much distance that car has covered till now mileage what is the age of the car in terms of years how old that car is and the third attribute is the sell price so this is the data set we are having so first thing is the data set as this collab is a cloud platform the data set should be made available to the cloud platform so whatever this car prices file is there you have to make sure that the file is available in the cloud platform so let me make sure that that file is available to the google cloud so presently it is on my system local system so i will be uploading that file and this is the file car prices dot csv so this file is now available to the cloud and whatever path you are having for this particular file i will copy that path and just the same path i will provide here let us try to understand how to split the data so we have got a data of the cars let me show you that data set also so it's a basically a csv file so if you open it 
will come to know what different data is there in that particular file. So, it is a file with three attributes one is mileage, then age in years, and sell price. So, these are the uh, these are the three attributes, and then we are having around 20 instances of the same 20 rows information you are having. So, 20 instances you have. Now, in Google Colab, if you want to check the file is imported just to read this file from the CSV format. So, we will have import of the pandas library. So, import pandas and then whatever this particular CSV file is, this CSV file we will read it as a data frame. So, name given to that data frame here is df. So, df will carry all the information which is available in this particular file. This is your data set file. Now, if you want to view what exactly information you have in this particular file in the colab itself. So, you can just ask colab with the command data frame dot head df dot head and by default it will show you five different instances of your data. So, if you run the, this part of the code, so you will find that first five instances are displayed. If you want to see few more instances, that number you can mention here. So, suppose I want to view 10 instances, so I will put here 10 and maybe I will be able to view all the first 10 instances from the data. So, this is how the data is available. Now, we have to learn how to split this data. Now, let us try to have the visualization of the data, how the data is related, is there any proportionality, is there any relationship between the data values. So, to have the visualization of this data in the form of a scatter plot which is quite popular for the visualization of the bivariate data. So, we will be importing one more library called as matplotlib and whatever the results are produced of the visualization you want to view the results in the same collab file uh, platform. So, that is why I will be writing this as matplotlib in line. So, whatever the results, the result will be visible here itself. So, let us run this part of the code. So, the library is imported and now whatever visualization you are trying to make, so those will be available there. So, first visualization is car mileage versus sales price. So, definitely the proportion will be inversely proportional because higher the mileage covered by the car, so price will go on reducing. So, if you run this part of the code where it is a scatter plot, x axis will be mileage and y axis will be the sales price. So, whatever data you have this mileage and sales price, these are the two attributes which will be considered for this plot. And again, if you run this, you will be getting the visualization. So, it is almost inversely proportional. On the same lines, if you try to have the visualization of age versus sale price, so again you will observe that some sort of non-linear, uh, some sort of inversely proportional relationship is there. Okay. Now, if you want to add a plot, let us say one more new plot you want to have, so just you type here code and then let us have a visualization of a third possible pair. So, I am taking one attribute as car mileage and let us have a visualization where the age is plotted versus the car mileage. So, you are getting this almost directly proportional relationship. Now, coming to the function, I want to split the data. So, first thing is you will first decide what are the input attributes and what is your target. So, x is my input attribute and then x is made up of two 
different attributes one is called as mileage and age and y is the output which is the target attribute which is the sales price now this is the key or heart of this particular implementation where i will import a library from scikit learn where i can split the data with the function train underscore test underscore split so to this particular function you have to give what is the input input is x representing the mileage and age of the car and output is y representing the sales price and here if you check the things written are like what is the test size what is the test data size so fraction from 0 to 1 you can mention here 0.3 means 30 percent data will be used for the test purpose let me make it 0.2 so 20 percent of the data you have 20 instances 20 percent of 20 means four instances will be used for the testing purpose hence remaining 16 will be used for the training purpose now this function returns four different variables where the data is split and training data is available in the form of x train and y train and test data set is available with the variable names x test and y test where x is representing the input and y is representing the output now once this data is available we can use this data to develop a model so in this particular example we will be developing a linear regression model so whenever you are developing a model make sure that the data which you are using is a training data set so now if you look at again we are importing that linear regression model from the scikit library uh, uh, library scikit learn and then i am using that linear regression model and here is the model creation taking place where you are trying to find a base fit line for the data where the input is represented by x train and output is represented by y train so this is how you will get a model created so this is your machine learning model developed using linear regression now let us view what exactly data you are having so x train is the data set used for training we are use 0.2 as the test size means 20 percent is the text size so you will find that if i run this so 16 instances will be there which will be used for the training and training data set uses two attributes one is mileage and age now y train is the corresponding output corresponding output for the training data set so these two things are used for developing the model now let us check if i want to evaluate the performance i will be using that x test as the data test data set and then correspondingly i will check what are the actual values of the output with the variable y test these are the actual values so these are the part of your data set itself so these are the mileage and age and this is representing the sales price now once i have model developed by using the training data set you can just check what are the predictions made so you will find that for the first instance this is the prediction made so around 15,022 is the predicted sales price actually it is 12,800 but for the next instance the prediction is 30,604 actually it is 31,500 so like this you have developed a model and these are the results you are getting so you can compare these results with the test values so these are the actual values and these are the predicted values and then you can compare the performance evaluate the performance with a score factor and i'm getting around 90 percent score for this particular model develop now when you are splitting the data as you have mentioned here that the data split here it is done 20 percent 80 percent but you can observe one thing that suppose this is the training data set created now one more time i am running this particular split function and i will find that if i check that x train 
now every time this x train will be different now there are some requirements where you want to have the fixed division some same set of instances should be there in the training and then remaining will be there in the testing in that case you may go for using an approach where you will add one more parameter called as random state now random state equal to and then some number and that number will represent some fixed random division of the input data set input data set can be divided into training and testing in n different ways randomly each random representation itself will be a number will be numbered and then that division will be considered here so if i use random state as 10 every time if i run this code i will find that so this y variable is a capital y by mistake it is made small so let me run it so every time i run this code so again if i split the split will be same so this is how you can split the data if you want to have some fixed split then use that random state otherwise if you are not using this particular variable every for every run so random split will be done between the training data set and testing data set so this is how exactly we can have the split of the data for developing some supervised learning algorithms so this was the implementation of the train test data split by using google colab so these are the references used for this presentation thank you